Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I jump right into the review of the Kose Sun Cut UV Perfect Essence, I'd like to tender my most sincerest apologies to anyone who bought the Kose Sun Cut UV Perfect Gel based on my recommendation. Months after I reviewed that sunscreen, I came to realize that that sunscreen tends to peel. Like most, so, some influencers, I think like Skin Sense, we are complaining that whenever they apply the sunscreen, it begins to like ball up or maybe hours later, it begins to ball up. I personally experienced something like that, but I did not know that it was actually peeling because at that point in time, I was still doing the whole glycolic acid and tretinoin heavily and I felt maybe that was my skin peeling off, not actually the, the sunscreen peeling off my skin, if that makes sense. Because generally when I use tretinoin and glycolic acid, I'm, I'm heavy with the usage, my skin tends to peel. So I felt it was my skin peeling off, not the sunscreen peeling off and that's why I did not report it. So, if you are going to get the Cosy Sun Cut Perfect Gel, I need you to know that that sunscreen tends to peel. It might peel when you are doing your first application or it might peel hours later or it might peel on your second application. Just know that the sunscreen tends to peel. Now, to reduce the incidence of peeling, I would advise you to do two things. Dispense the sunscreen, spread it over your skin within 20 seconds and then allow it to like absorb on its own into the skin. Don't go rubbing, 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 rubbing. That will make the sunscreen to peel. Number two, throughout the course of the day, do not make the mistake of like rubbing your hands against your neck or against your body, against where you apply the sunscreen. That motion will make the sunscreen to begin to peel. That in my experience is how it peels. Maybe like five to six hours after I'm, I've worn the sunscreen and I'm like stretching and maybe like rub, rubbing my neck, it begins to crumble and fall apart. So just do those two things. Apply as fast as possible and don't go rubbing your skin and the sunscreen will not peel or the chances of it peeling will be very very reduced now let's jump right into the review now one thing i would say is that the essence and the gel have two similarities in the sense that they both have the same uv filters and in my personal experience i need a double cleanse to get them off my skin that is an oil cleanse and then a water-based cleanse when it comes to differences the essence is a lot more hydrating than the gel and it allows you a lot more time to like spread it across your skin evenly before it begins to like dry down also the essence tends to peel but in difference with the gel the gel tends to like crumble like it falls like in crumbs as if like skin is peeling off while the essence peels like as if it's um fine sand or fine powder that's just basically what i noticed between the two of them um retail price is like seven thousand to eight thousand naira across the board for the two sunscreens depending on where you get them i get mine from buybetter.com oh sorry lest i forget the finish is a soft matte finish it's not a greasy finish it's not a greasy or shiny finish and the sunscreens are recommended for outdoor activities and i think that's all i have to say about the sunscreen in a nutshell it's a good sunscreen just that it tends to peel so you need to be really really careful when applying so if you find this review helpful don't forget to please like share subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video take care guys bye